Hello friends, today we will discuss about paste up millets and their management. Here I have displayed some of the millets, finger millets, black funio, barnyard millets, proso millet, little millet and kodo millet, teff millet, foxtail millet. Those above mentioned are the minor millets and uh, the major millets include jowar and bajra and sometimes maize also included under the millets because it is also grown under the varied climatic condition. Millets are a kind of cereal crops which are coarse in nature and can be grown in a different climatic condition which are adverse in nature and it can use for for the human consumption as well as the uh, as a form of fodder so here the seed you can look and identify uh, if you see the production scenario india accounts uh, india holds first position followed by nigeria niger and china and there are uh, several health benefits are there for the from the millets like it regulates uh, blood glucose level helps in weight loss good for heart bottles cancer cell and it promotes digestion because there is a, a more fiber content in the seeds coming to the paste of millets it having the various where it is affected by various places like sucking paste borer ear head feeder defoliator and non-insect paste and some of the important uh, insect we will discuss which uh, uh, cause damage uh, yeah, which is a major important pest like a soot fly. Uh, soot fly, it is a fly of dipteran group. It lays egg on the uh, seed, leaf seed, beneath the leaf seed, and then in one to two days, the maggot emerge and it bore uh, inside the central suit and cause dead heart. And its infestation uh, arises in the early stage. So dead heart early can be pulled out and this also promotes the side tiller and in heavy infestation uh, cases the plant completely dies so uh, to protect from that early sowing is recommended and use of higher seed rates so that if some seedlings get died so it can be compensated installation of fish mill trap and spraying of imidacloprid is preferred to manage this pest and coming to the suit borer, so suit borer name itself suggests it bores the suit, uh, the apical suit, and when it bore in unfolded leaf condition, it causes a pin typical series of pinhole symptom you can see on the leaf, and uh, the dead heart in case of if it caused damage in an early stage, you can see the dead heart on the plant, which can be easily pulled out. And stem, you can see presence of red patches on the internodal re region and the hole will be easily visible. Uh, it can be controlled by uh, plowing the soon after harvest so that the pupa can be uh, removed and it can be destroyed. And release of egg parasitoid is practiced. It is uh, uh, highly successful. And then uh, some of the uh, contact are systemic insecticide can be used to manage this pest. Then the another important pest is ear head midge. You can identify by uh, looking on it. It look like a mosquito like fly, which having the long ovipositor. It lays egg on each spikelet and the maggot develops uh, inside the spikelet and they feed the grain uh, during milking stage so grain is uh, not formed and it, it result in a chaffy ear head and uh, in the latter stage when the uh, maggot uh, develops and emerge into adult, uh, the pupal cage will be uh, seen protruding out from the spikelet. So it can be managed by removal and destruction of stable and affected plant of the previous season so that the pests cannot carry forward and release a parasitide and whole application of granular insecticide of carbifuran can be done. So this is all about the pest 